In this video, we're taking a look at what's inside my sling bag. Now, up until a year ago, I had never carried one of these things, but 2019 really was the year of the sling bag, and we've fully embraced them over here at Pack Hacker. So much so, in fact, that we've made a full written guide on how to choose the best sling bag for you, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. For me personally, I found that carrying a sling really changed the game. For years, I was limited to what I could fit inside of my pockets, so a phone, a wallet, and some keys, but wearing a sling bag changes all of that and allows you to really expand your everyday carry. Now, we'll pop links in the description below with all of the products we're gonna feature in this video, some of which we've fully reviewed over on our website, along with the best buying options that support our channel at no additional cost to you. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside my sling bag. Kicking it off with the sling bag itself. This is the Arcteryx Maca 2 waste pack. Yes, it's technically called a waste pack, but this thing wears so much better as a sling bag, and that's actually how Arcteryx have it being used in most of their marketing photos as well. Now, I like how this thing can be worn across my front, on my back, and also down by my hip. I really enjoy the versatility of having different ways to wear it when the timing suits me, and of course, it can also be worn around your waist, so that's an extra added bonus, even though I don't use it that often. Now, I've also found that the size and also the organization inside is a really great fit for what I carry on a daily basis. For more information and the best buying options, you can check out our full review of the Arcteryx Maca 2 waste pack over on our website at packhacker.com. We've also reviewed a ton of other sling bags, so make sure to check all of those out as well. Starting off, we'll take a look inside of this quick grab compartment at the front here. Now, first of all, we have got my keys. I'll just take them off this keyring attachment, which is only plastic, but I think for this specific use case, that's perfectly fine. And first of all, we will take a look at my key organizer. Now, this is the Bellroy Key Cover Plus, and I've really been digging it. I've been using it for the last couple of years, and I've used other key organizers in the past, but this is one that just keeps on ending up in my everyday carry. And I like how slim it is, as you can see here. I don't carry around that many keys. I've only got two, and I've got a Orbit Key multi-tool here that comes in really handy, and yeah, really digging the Bellroy Key Cover Plus. Then next up, we have got the Tile, and this is the Tile Pro. If you've never heard of Tile before, basically they're these little things that you can attach to items, namely your keys, your wallet, which we'll get to in just a second, and anything else, and you can link them up with your phone, and when you lose them, you can use your phone and they'll admit a loud ring, and you can find them using your phone, basically, which is a really neat feature. Pop them on your keys, set it, and forget it. Then finally, I have got my car keys, this is from Renault here, and I just wanted to bring them up because I like how they're shaped like a credit card, and as you can see here, you can just kind of have them flat, and I like how all of my keys here, they don't take up too much room, they're not that bulky, and it all lays flat against each other, so really like that. I'll just lay them over the side there. Then next up, I have got my wallet and this is the Pioneer Division Billfold Wallet, and it's their most traditional looking wallet, as you can see inside here. It's got six card slots, two little areas behind, and then just a space for all of your cash, and they do a load more minimalist wallets over on their website. We actually fully reviewed the Flyfold Wallet, which is in their 10XD material. This is in their 3PN material, which is a little bit softer, um, they do different colors in this one as well. We've done a little bit more detail about the materials themselves over on that full review, and their own website is great at kind of explaining all of that um, because they have some crazy good stuff going on here. Moving on inside, inside uh, this little pocket here, we have got a tile slim. Now, I believe they've updated the look of these recently, but the idea is still the same thing. It's a slim tile that you can just pop into your wallet, set it, forget about it. And um, I really like the idea here because, you know, if you lose your keys, that's great, you can attach a tile, but what about your wallet? Usually they're just as important to have 
you can see I can just pop that in there, leave it in there, it doesn't get in the way, and it's the same kind of thing as the keys, you know. My wallet, really important to me, really important to have it. Then finally, inside of this thing, I haven't put my real cards in here. These are just some Metro cards, just so everyone doesn't see my credit card information. But one thing I wanted to mention was this Night Eyes Quick Stand. And I'm a big fan of this. Basically, it's a mobile phone or a device stand. We've used an iPad with this. And I'll just show it in motion here. So you can see it just stands up like that. You pop this thing at the back there and you can use it to stand up, you know, a phone basically, which if you're on an airplane, you can pop this down, watch your film. There's nothing worse than having to hold a phone and watch your film on. So this has come in really handy countless times. And I've used it in 20 plus countries. I've actually used this thing for over three years and it's still holding up really well, even though it looks a little flimsy. But I've used it on transatlantic flights. I've used it on a bus in Nepal and it's still going really strong. I never leave home without this thing. But I'll pop this back in the wallet for now and pop this to the side. Then that actually does the front compartment for now. So we'll zip that up. And before we get into the main compartment, I wanna show you the back panel here. And there's something really cool going on here. There's actually a little pocket for your phone right there, just in this. So if you need quick access, you can just whip it out and you know, you're on your phone, you're good to go. I haven't always kept it in that. Sometimes I will just have it in the main compartment but it's a cool little place for you to quickly grab your phone if you need access to it um, quickly, which most people do when they need to take a phone call. This is just the iPhone 11. Uh, this is Rebecca's phone and it's perfect for what she uses. I'm shooting right now on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and that's typically the phone that I'll have with me in my sling. I just wanted to use this you know, as um, an example, basically. I like the bigger screen on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I also like the extra camera, um, but the iPhone 11 does Rebecca really well. Both are solid phones, both are solid choices. Then we will get into the main compartment, which is this thing here. And as you can see, here we've got this divider at the back here. We've got a main compartment, and then you probably can't see, but there's this zippered little pocket on the front inside the main compartment as well, which is good for any little small items that we'll get to at the end. But we'll begin with Inside the main kind of area here, we have my AirPods Pro. Now, I'm big fans of these. I really dig the noise cancellation feature. And as you can see here, I've actually got a black silicone case on them, which I will just take off now. And you can see them in all their glory. The design here is great. As you can see, it just opens up like that. Take them out, they're super small, stay in my ears really well anyway. And yeah, the all white is really good looking, um, but the black silicone case does protect it from scratches and stuff like that. I find these are really good for, you know, when I'm out and about talking on the phone or, you know, if you're on an airplane and you're listening to music, these are really good. Active noise cancellation, really recommend the latest Apple AirPods Pro. Then next up, we have got a PowerAd power bank. It actually comes in its own little case here, which we've actually been able to squeeze the charging cable in as well, which is a really cool feature. And we'll just open this up. It's only small, it's only 5,000. So you'll get like one good charge of your phone, but that's most all that people need. You know, why have a massive power brick if you're not gonna use all of it? You know, save space because it is important when you're carrying around a thing. You don't want anything too heavy either. But as you can see here, little circular shape, um, you've got your little USB at the end there. Typically nowadays, phones are really good with holding their battery. I know my 11 uh, Pro Max and Rebecca's iPhone 11 typically last more than one day. Carrying around a kind of power bank isn't as essential it was to a couple of years ago, but I still like to carry around one. It doesn't take up too much space. And let's say I forget to have my phone fully charged before I go out for a day and I can't wait around, you know, waiting for it to charge before I head out. Having something like this also works in that matter um, as well. But I'll put that over there. And as I said, in this little kind of mesh pouch, we also fit the cable, which is just an Apple um, USB to lightning cable here, which will charge the iPhone and it will also charge the AirPods Pro as well. Then finally, inside the main compartment, I've just got my sunglasses here. Now the case itself, is it really nothing special? It's just one that we picked up a while ago, just a clear plastic case. 
Um, if you do have any tips or you know ways that you carry your sunglasses in, then please comment below. I'd love to hear them. Definitely in the market for getting a kind of cooler or at least better looking case to carry my sunglasses in. But a hard one is great because it means I can pop it in my backpack in a sling and they won't get damaged basically and that's really important. These sunglasses themselves are just from ASOS. Um, they're just cheap little sunglasses, nothing fancy, but they do have UV protection, which is important. You don't want to go too cheap with sunglasses, but nice and simple, nothing fancy, but I've kept on using them. So really solid buy in my opinion. Then we'll take a look at what's inside of this back divider pocket here. And we will start with antibacterial hand gel. Now currently it's really important to make sure that your hands are clean when you're touching stuff, get rid of those germs. And this does a really good job of that. Now also using warm water and soap and washing for 20 seconds is great as well. But of course, when you're out, you can't always do that. So this is a really safe bet to carry around. A little bit of a bigger bottle than I'd have liked, but I have the space in my sling, so I've got it in there. Then on that same kind of thread, I've got a Tom Bin Ghost Whale pouch, which we're really digging at the moment over here at Pack Hacker because you can open it just a little bit, take something out, or you can actually open it all the way like that. And they're just neat little pouches that we found a ton of different uses for. Taking a look inside, first of all, on the same kind of train of thought as the anti-back hand gel, we have some uh, L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream here, which when you're washing your hands a lot, they will get dry and it's really important to have some hand cream and moisturizer to kind of just, you know, make sure that they're nice and healthy and they're not cracking and stuff like that. And if you do wash your hands a lot, they will get dry. And this has been a really good addition to my everyday carry recently. So I'll pop that over there. Then, we have the Body Shop uh, Lip Balm. This is their Vitamin E range, which actually has SPF 15. Um, so great when you're out and about, you've got dry lips, this will save them from becoming cracked. And nice little feature in the Body Shop, makes some great products as well. So I'll just pop that over there. Then I've got some hair bands here, which these are from Goody Ouchless. Um, I've got long hair, I tie it up at the back, so just in case it breaks or whatever reason, I've got to here just in case, pop that over there. Then finally, I've got a couple of band-aids in here, which you can see here. They're nothing special, but you know, it's good just to have, again, just in case, a lot of with what's in this little uh, pouch here, just in case is great. And you know, sometimes you can take it out and take a little bit less out, but you know, when you're prepared, it's really great. Then finally, we have got the Fulton and Rock Solid Cologne. I won't always take this out with me, but if I'm heading out to London for the day and I'm going for a meal afterwards to a nice restaurant, then I can take this out, kind of pop my finger on it. It's solid cologne, so it's not gonna spill either. Pop some on my neck and you know, you, you, you freshen up a little bit and smell a lot better, especially if you've been walking in the sun all day. And Fulton and Rock, this is a really solid, solid cologne and it opens up like that and then closes like that. And I just think that's really neat. Um, the good thing about this is that it lasts forever as well. Not forever, but a good few months. And it's also refillable. I've got the Palmetto scent in there, which I'm personally a big fan of. I think smells really good, but they do a load of other scents as well. But that's the Fulton and Rock Solid Cologne. Then, that's actually all of the stuff inside of our main compartment, apart from this little zippered pocket inside of there, which just has two little items. First of all, there's this little tile sticker. Now, I've already had two tiles. You're probably thinking, why has this guy got so many tiles inside of one sling pouch? But I've got one for my keys, one for my wallet, which are typically separate as well. And then this tile itself is for the sling bag specifically. And this is super loud. It's actually the sticker, so you're supposed to you see there on the back, you stick it onto stuff, but I found it just a cool little thing that I can pop in places. And this just goes in my front pocket or the kind of small divider pocket inside the main compartment that I don't open that much. And you know, it's in there, peace of mind. If I ever lose or misplace my sling, then I've got it there. Then finally, I've got this Human Gear Go Tub. And I found that it fits my coins really well. So the neat feature about this Human Gear is you can actually open it with one hand 
really like that and it's just the perfect shape for one pound coins and obviously different countries are different currencies we still have like one pound coins and stuff like that and um it's just a neat little place to put them i don't like having coins in my pockets at all and i won't carry them but if you're you know the parking lot you know you can use these to pay for it or you know whenever you need a couple of quid then you can use this thing here and i like just having that just in case of emergencies and that's actually all of what's inside of my sling so hopefully you've got some cool tips um, please let me know if you'd make any changes yourself and what you carry um, but really enjoyed putting this video together um, it's not the ideal layout and the ideal sling bag for everyone but this is what works for me and it's what i carry on a daily basis really hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to check out all of our other content over here on youtube and over on packhacker.com as well so thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.